No, uh, just the fact that we're here. And uh, there's a spider here, so I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Just had to throw that spider out. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore this stuff. Because I don't know how you're supposed to know this, but why. Why, um, um, why I don't find it to be that big of a deal is basically you don't need it to beat the game. Like, you can get, basically what happens is that, like, you see my gem count. It's going to say 31 out of 42. Now, once we go to the secret levels, that counter is going to go up by one or two, maybe, depending on... Depending on the, the level. I think you only have the box gem, so it's gonna go up to 44. So uh, If you don't ever go to these levels Your gem count will still stay at 42 and once you reach that you can fight Cortex again get the best ending then you can um, Like that can be your playthrough that you don't even you don't even have to worry about going here So if you don't know about these um, You don't have to fret too much but you do have to go the, go here if you want to get that. All the... Oh crap. <laughs> you came out a bit too too soon. But you don't need to go to these two levels. If you want to get the best ending. But you do need them for... If you want to get like... 100... Like... Everything in the game. So... Now this is... We're in level 30... Yeah, level 32, Agapus, Agapus Rex. Technically, it's level 29 because two levels in the sixth warp room go to levels in the main in the main uh, game or whatever. But either way, um, or, or or level 30 if it's counting like the second secret level as 31. But that's kind of weird because that level is later on in the warp room. So oh, either way. Um, what, what am I doing? <laughs> I just wish it was a, there was an easier way of, like, re-accessing re this. Again, or just a quicker way, like something in the warp room, but... Anyway, though, what I'm gonna do is get the time trial relic and the main gem for being the stage, because I'm pressing triangle, there's no, bo there's no box count here. The only... The, the uh, gem in the stage is accessed by just being the level. There's nothing, no special requirements, just get to the end. So it's basically a crystal. Um, or I, get, I mean, gems were found in like part, other pathways, but this is a regular level issue. Well, not a regular level, but you know what I mean. And um, yeah, just doing a time trial as well so you can get two bur kill two birds with one stone because we don't need... We're doing the same thing for both anyway, so. And we didn't get the platinum. Now, before you say how it's so easy to get the platinum, basically what happens is what happened is that NTSC had it so the time trial for the for the secret stages were based on the times you needed to beat the the time trials for the levels you came from. So basically what I mean by that is that Agapus Rex's time uh, time trial for NTSC um, had the same times as Dynomite. So the Platinum time would be the same and it will make it insanely easy to get the Platinum. And same with the second warp, uh, second secret level. The thing with PAL is that they fixed that issue and now, and now you basically have your own times to uh, surpass through those two stages and they yeah they basically just fix that issue straight out and just to make just to uh, clear something up I'm gonna start the time I'm not gonna actually do the time trial but I'm gonna make something excuse me I'm gonna make something clear um, if people are like screaming at, at the uh, at the computer screen or whatever and be like no why are you hitting the alien sign you could have gone a better time well I'm gonna do that, and oh, oh, yeah. By the way, that's how you get to the secret secret level. So I'm gonna do that. It sends me back to the warp room. 
weirdly enough. But yeah, it doesn't that doesn't count to the time trial, so I tried. <laughs> I tried doing that before it and it doesn't work, so anyways though, uh, since this is, this is easier an easier stage to get to and we can't really wait where the time ago okay I was about to say, no I, I screwed up <laughs> I was about to say but yeah we're gonna get the time trial first because uh, we can't get all the boxes then get the time trial because I'll make it so we can't get the gold there's no chance of us getting that no this is a really tricky tricky one to get as well like yeah you have to know the specific route to take at this like to the nitro box detonator you have to know like what pathways to take on the way back to the um entrance uh, entrance exit and yeah it's just really difficult uh, stage to uh do and i don't think i'm doing this right at all Now, where is it? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, dang it. Alright. Yeah, I'll try that again. Again, I'm not entirely sure. I always forget the route for this stage. So. Okay, don't blow up on me. Man. I'm trying to hit the ramp from the side and it's like easier said than done. E easily one of the hardest relics in the game. That like you have to actually plan a route. It's not as in it's nowhere near as simple as just getting to the end and getting all the time boxes you see. You actually have to plan out a route. I think this one has worked out pretty well. It's just actually trying to execute it right so I actually get the gold. It's the, it's the thing. It's the real question. Or the real... Okay, I finally got both of them. I, I can't mess this up now. I'm not this far in. Okay. okay, get both of them. Okay, I kind of messed up, sl had to slow down a bit, but still, we can still do this. And then, there are the three boxes with these guys, maybe. Okay, I got two of them, it's nice. Okay, just go. Dude, I was probably right on the, like, right at the edge of that. Oh, dude, that is really hard. We did it, though. And now we just need to get the gem there, so we're going to have to go back. It'd be funny if I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I was like, oh no, it's level 13. What did you do? Also, I like... You know, I like how... Um, Cortex and Ukuruka jumped to the warp room. The same one we jumped into. Yet we didn't see them in the main, like, the warp room at all. That would have been funny if they were like, Oh, Crash is here, let's kill him now! <laughs> oh dear. That would be kind of weird. I'm sure someone could just hack the game and have the Cortex fight in the warp room. That would be really weird. Like you, you wouldn't even be able to damage him because there's no hole to fall into. Or maybe you can just throw him into the abyss. I don't know. I would like to see that, actually. Alright, now we're going to have to go for an entire trek for the, the uh, level. So, what I'm going to do is go through... Uh, I'm like, this pathway is like embedded into my mind now. So what I'm going to do, just to make life easier on us, is get this pathway out of the way. And then... Okay, that's a checkpoint. 
Um, and then just go this pathway, hit the TNT box. Okay, that was a bit scary. And then get all the rest of the boxes. So it makes this, it makes life easier for us so we don't have to worry about blowing ourselves up. Well, we still have the bombs to worry about, but a little bit, a little convenience for us. Yeah, it's not like 500 boxes at least, so it's not too bad, but still. The checkpoints are literally there just to save your pro progress. Like, you don't need them to, like, it's not like any other stage how a checkpoint would, you, would be used. So I, I need to, don't need to explain about all that but you know this stage is li uh, they're literally there just to see your pro progress so when you die you have all those boxes you broke which is, which is nice and that's a little bit tricky which is why I got that checkpoint all right this stage does love the bombs though to get a lot of speed here. Huh? Okay, cool. And this is the box where I, I mentioned earlier where you have to... Okay, that didn't even work. Let me try that again. You have to nose die to get this one. Otherwise, it's not gonna... It's, you're not gonna get low enough. There we go. Alright, that is actually pretty cool. I think. Alright, All right, I want to get a checkpoint now. Uh, there we go. There's one here. And that's where we just were, so... I'm just gonna kind of loop around. Okay. Uh, wait, did we already go up here? No, we didn't. Doesn't help that you don't really get any masks in this stage! Okay. Shark is in like the worst position. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was being a bit too fast there uh, for comfort. Alright. This is gonna. Oh man, okay. Alright. So just go around this. Sorry, yeah. Okay. Oh dear. I don't even know. I don't think that there's probably like one checkpoint left somewhere. Okay, cool. Right, this shouldn't be hard. <laughs> oh dear, I'm having so many close calls, it's ridiculous. Slow, I'm gonna blow up. Watch. And screw this up. Okay, I didn't. Okay. Uh, this is easy. Uh, 
that one's done, isn't it? Yep. Okay, it's just a random box here. Oh wait, did I get those boxes? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, four more. Not too bad, not too bad. Um... Of course you could go into that little cave there. Oh, that's a checkpoint, thank you. Okay. The stress is... gone. <laughs> just need three more. Nope. So I think I saw another box. Alright, cool. No, that was just my imagination. Alright. No, this. Oh, okay, they're both here. Alright. Now I'm gonna wait until they're, like, separated. If they would load in. Maybe no. Okay, I missed one. Oh, God. You gotta be kidding. Okay, there, was, there were two there. Where was the other one? Dang it. Forgot where the other box was. Uh, I'll get these two out of the way first and make my way back and eventually find it, I guess. I just want to know where this last stray box is. It was this? The entire time? Really? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Well, that was stupid. See, I knew it was off a ramp somewhere, but I couldn't f see any of them. Like, I looked in the areas around the ramps and I couldn't find them. I guess it just wasn't... I wasn't close enough to that for it to load in. I... Whatever. We've got it. We're gonna now, so let's just end this. Just hug the side until you find the exit. Make sure you actually grab the gem, because you can actually leave without it. Have your jet ski, like, fly off out of our bounds. It's all good. Okay, we're finally done with Warframe 3. That took a while. Okay. Mon hey age. Okay then. Now, this is gonna be pretty easy, this level. Because we already got the books gem, so I don't, need to, I don't need to worry about that. And the relic. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and again, I don't see any reason to go to the left, because not even in the time, time trial, it's not even faster there, because it's actually a lot slower to go to the left, and there's no boxes there, so you don't get any time bonuses. And you can't do this evil! Okay. No, I don't want to give mommy a hug. <laughs> Crash the... Oh, wow. Crash his face. Oh! Whoa! That'll be like the only thing on Crash's tombstone, just whoa! Don't close on me. I, dude, yeah, an instance of the double jump not working with me because the whole. As soon as you descend, you can't use it. Well, not as soon as you descend, because, again, there was a half a second or so 
to do it, but come on, stop slowing me down. And oh gosh, I didn't think I made it. The camera screwed me up. do that <laughs> oh dude that was a fell and a half okay to uh, slide under the spikes when I sight halfway up or just walk in general because you can still get hit by it can't really speed run this part oh gosh like any part of the uh, model of the fire that hits you like even just the little smidget when it goes past to the other side it can still damage you so that's why I kind of just I only, that's why I really just go and attack them when they're like all the way to the other side. Because it lingers. Like even just the speck of fire kills you. Alright, level 2 I think was make, uh, Tell No Tales. Oh, bye bye Blimps, okay. That was Tell No Tales. Future Frenzy. This is a really fun level for me to speedrun, actually. I actually did a test recording a couple years ago. Actually, no, I think it was longer than that. I think it was like when the Wii U was like uh, early, like when it was when the Wii U was on its like first or second year, maybe. Okay. Okay, that was bad. Play a didgeridoo. Okay, I messed up a little bit. Dang it. I should, yeah, I could, should probably slide there because I don't have the, as big of a hitbox. Nope. Oh, this is a... No! I wanted to hit the box. Go! Yeah, that was a little bit bad. It was okay, but... I get, you kind of just have to tank the hits if you want a b the best time here. I really should slice burn after that. 
Okay, what's that? Cool. Oh, that was kind of slow. Dang it, where well, just go? Nice. Tomb Waiter. Take that. I honestly did actually... I, I forgot he was even in this game, if I'll be honest. Reach it! Okay, that's not actually so bad. That guy is a bit too close for comfort. Ignoring that, gonna have to because it's gonna waste time otherwise. There's no one here at least. Okay, slice bin for the win. Do your thing. Okay. Jump on him, please. The mosques don't even matter on the stage because if you drown, you're still gonna drown. If you you drown her, it's not gonna like go lose a mask or anything like that. You just die, which makes sense, but yeah, kind of makes it worthless. Scare masks. Get to that, I can reach it in time. Come on, yes, and I can slide. Okay, okay, please be in, be good enough. Good. I don't care, I got gold. It's good enough for me. Okay, so... Alright, so first off... Sphinxinator, I believe, is the name of the level. Um, do we have to go to the blue jump path? Yeah, Sphinxinator. Just making sure. We don't need... Uh, just for the heck of it, let's just go to this path. Okay. Also, you can jump on those monkeys if you want to get Wampa Fruit. Kind of like how you could jump on Polar just to get lives. Animal, animal abuse for the win. I don't condemn animal abuse. <laughs> just to make that clear. Because I don't want, like, some stuff happening in the comments. Alright, cool. Now I believe it's up here. Oh, I don't even know why I'm borrowing. And, yep, here we go. And 
they have still checkpoints, just to make it say there's checkpoints here, but they, they don't count as boxes, so. It's always nice when they do that. If you're not careful, this can actually be pretty tricky with the ice physics. Because there's no ice in this game, but the oil kind of replay. It can basically acts just like ice in Crash 2, so it may as well be ice. But yeah, that's all we had to, had to do there. But now, Future Frenzy is going to be a lot more complicated. First off. We're gonna have to go back to the secret warp room. Go to level 29, I think. And we have 24, okay. Future Frenzy. Because this stage. Uh, well. It technically has the worst backtracking in the game, but I don't think it's as bad because um, you're in 2D for half of it, half of it, so you have a better view of what you're see. What uh, you have a better view of everything, and you can see like, what's ahead, so it's not as bad. It's just the last section we had to go back to the 2D section where it can be a bit, me bit messy. Make sure I didn't miss a box. Okay. Sometimes these guys' hitboxes can be a bit wonky. Okay. And there is a nitro box at the end, so I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna blow these up. Death root theme for Future Frenzy is also really nice. Okay, cool. Nope. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, wh where's the clash? That was a boring sound effect. For some reason, they decided to send us here instead of the start of the level. So, we're gonna have to try go on back. There's no point in even taking out all these boxes because we're gonna have, to go, gonna have to go back anyway. Aku Aku Mask, that's nice. What the heck? Yeah, that's what I mean by wonky hitboxes. And just to make it so, like, just to make things easier, or whatnot, uh, I'm gonna hit that checkpoint when we go back. So when we, so we know that we're done for good. Okay. And I'm back here. Oh yeah, yeah. That was the bad side of going for the not going for the checkpoint. Oh well. Oh come on, biscuit. Like everything vaporizes you in these stages. Okay. <laughs> Die from everything, go.
Alright, cool. Maybe I can reach it. Yes. I hope I got all of them. Watch me whisper. Watch me miss one box and cry. No. That guy has like the worst hitbox. It's a good thing you can can actually go back. Okay, jump and then there's the death thing. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna worry about going back first, then I'll worry about the boxes. Okay, that's fair. Those, those things are like the worst part of this. Alright. And now we're at the start of the level, so... Provided I don't die from something stupid, we should be good. No, I'm not even gonna chance spinning that. Just doing that was scary for me. This makes it a whole, whole different game when you have to do stuff like this. A completely different game. It's like I'm playing Crash 1 again. Like, it's not that bad, but... It puts me in a similar mindset. I don't want to die at all, and otherwise I have to... Not as bad as replaying the entire stage, but... It's still kind of nerve-wracking. But now we're at the... We're, we're done with the worst of it, so... All we have to do is just play the level like normal. Still nowhere near as bad as the stuff in Crash 2. That's the worst it gets in this game. Oh, come on! Huh. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen that death. Hoping we have enough the books to hero up all of them. Alright, cool. <sighs> you know what? Yeah, eat it. Oh, also, if you shoot these guys, they flip over, which is kind of cool. Alright. Okay, I already messed up. I like... I like jumping on all of those TNT. But whatever. I love the bonus free music.
Again, I love the main theme of this game. And the main theme is what is basically what they use in every bonus round mute, uh, theme. Just remixed to fit the sound front of the, of the level theme. But the Crash 2 bonus rooms, bonus room music was fine, but it pales in comparison. Go! Okay, whatever. I almost messed that up. Please be enough. Okay, cool. Four gems, like I said. And now Warp Room 5, almost done. Well, I say that, but then the Warp Room 6 levels are gonna take a while. <laughs> 